up scorpio and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys we are going to get september going i was not able to do all of the august mid months yours was one of them i'm so sorry about that so let's kind of do an overview just see what you guys experienced you know especially towards the end of august and we'll just pull some advice but i hope you guys have been well now this reading guys will be for sun moon rising and venus scorpio signs and do keep in mind that the energy is transferable so it could be your energy i'm picking up on or the energy of someone around you all right so what was going on for scorpio in august 2020 All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the Chariot reversed. Okay, Seven of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Um, so for some of you, this could have, you know, been something that had to do with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But I see a big change here. Okay, something coming to light. Um, I feel like there's a situation that was outside of someone's control. And it's like someone's waiting on something, but there's reservation here. So let's see what these cards are talking about. Why is this Knight of Wands here? All right. We have the Three of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed, World Card reversed, Six of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's move this all around. I feel like something from the past returned. Something that was kind of unfinished business. And it could have brought healing. It definitely could have brought healing, although someone wasn't sure. Okay, but maybe something happened in the situation where things turned. What is this? We have the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. So it's like, yeah, something feels good at first. You feel victorious with it at first. But there's just a really huge change where someone's just realizing they're not on the best path for themselves. Okay, someone's pissed off. Someone cut something out. Um, again, something that you're building just becomes chaotic. It becomes a burden. Okay. So what's going on with the Seven of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. So there's definitely some foul play here, guys. And I feel like someone's being cold. Maybe someone's waiting to hear on someone. Maybe someone's just waiting to see how the situation's going to happen. How it's going to play out. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, someone here is being patient, letting go of a huge burden. But it's like someone's waiting on some sort of offer here at the same time now with this four of pentacles this could be guardedness this could be you know being reserved with money okay five of swords and we have the hermit so yeah i feel like someone really just has to remove themselves from something um if anything i feel like you're trying to be more patient within yourself because I feel like there's something that can make you happy. But at the same time, it's like, is it the best? Because there could be a lot of chaos around this. Okay. So let's see what spirit advises for you guys, just based on this energy we're picking up on. Any advice or guidance? Any advice for Scorpios? Based on August. Full card in the verse, Ace of Cups, that within itself says a lot. You know, that something may be a mistake. Even though there's, it's like, there's something that could fulfill a person. Okay? But you guys have both of these cards. Okay, you have two beginning cards here. We have the Empress and we have the Full card. And the cards that came up, you know, next, or whatchamacallit? This is what. I wanted to there's three starting cards here it's just saying that it's you know something starts it's fun you know it feels good but then it's like out of nowhere 
Um, something unexpected happens, things get chaotic, okay? There's foul play, someone's being sad, someone's, you know, realizing something needs to be put in the past. We have the star card in the reverse and the five of swords in the reverse to not deal with this conflict. Someone's losing faith in something, okay? Remove yourself from that devil energy. All right. Okay, Scorpio, so let's actually jump into September and let's see what's going on. Let's start with an oracle pool. We have spiritual strength. Okay, let's get at least two more here. Suffering and silence. And we have power. Okay, so you guys are getting through this. You're going to be strong through this. Um, it's just, you know, pains that we have to go through, trapped in fear. I feel like this is a lot of inner stuff. Um, with both of these cards, they came out as nines. Okay, so I feel like with wherever you guys are right now, it's the place right before a breakthrough. Okay, and it's that moment where you know a lot of people could give up, not realizing that their answer was right there, they were that close. So that's where you're at right now. Um, and look, the universe came up right behind that. I didn't see that till now. So, with the universe, that's a new chapter. That's, you know, think of it as the world card. So, a new chapter, something exciting coming in. It's always a very positive thing, and you're right at the brink of that. Let me just write a note. Sorry, as I think about stuff during readings, and I'm like, yeah, I'll use that later. And then by the time the reading is done, I don't remember. All right. So, let's see why these cards are here. Spiritual strength. We have the Four of Wands reversed. The chariot, the magician, seven of wands, and the death card. So it's like, yeah, something, it's it's going to take strength for you to say no to something or for someone to say no to you about something, okay? Because there's something here that it could take off and it can take off really fast, but it's not stable, okay? So you guys, you know, dip your toe in before jumping in. Something that you move away from. Suffering and silence, why is this here? Tell me more about this. What are you guys suffering with? The tower card in the verse. So a bullet was dodged or, you know, needs to be dodged. Full card in the verse. Something is seen as a mistake. You know, you guys dodged this bullet. Wheel of Fortune. And it's a very positive thing for you. There's something that is desired here, but again... There's, there's secrets here, there's lying, there's manipulation, okay, there's a lot of illusion. Spirit doesn't want you involved with that. Power, why is this here? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles, so maybe this has to do with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn for some of you. All right, we have the Sun card. We have the Knight of Swords. Let's pull one more card here. Why are these characters popping up? They are facing each other, though. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I think that there's just a feeling of being very tired or depleted. It's like, for some people, this could be between two people. Maybe this is with family, whatever. But it's like, there's there's different energies. It's like they're facing each other. They're realizing the same thing. And when I asked, you know, for more confirmation, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a situation where someone's just very tired. Two parties looking at something, needing to be strong. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's jump into your reading. What is 
going on with Scorpio? September 2020 for Scorpio. I thought this was going to be the first reading in the history of my entire channel where all nine cards came out upright at first. But then a reversal dropped. So here we are. Okay, all but one. All right, guys. So the energy that we have is a Ten of Cups in the reverse. So this could be when you're not happy with the situation, when there's trouble, you know, on the home front, issues with family. Okay, something that's not building in a good way. Maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with something, but. Yeah, someone's disappointed or distraught in something. Okay? Even though things happened unexpectedly, guys, you get victory in stepping away from something and um, just emancipating yourself from something. Okay? So let's look at the past, Scorpio. We have the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, and we have the Fool card. Okay? A lot of conflict within yourself, maybe conflict with others. You turn your back you walk away or maybe someone walks away from something and with the full card it's like you know it's time for a new journey um the full card is exciting though because this is someone that it's like there's something so exciting that they're going towards that they don't have the time to think about what can go wrong it's just like i'm so happy i'm not gonna even think about that it's like i just want to enjoy this all right why is this eight of cups here Star card in the verse, you lost faith in something, you walked away from it, and you said, I got this. I can do bad by myself. Okay. You really felt the need to stand your ground with something, or maybe someone with you. Your soul wasn't easy about a situation. Okay, there could have been some sort of heavy ending or betrayal. What are we doing with this five of swords here? We have the strength card. And we have the two of cups in the reverse. Yeah, someone has to be strong with an ending. This could have been leaving a job. This could have been a death. This could have been a relationship. This could have been a friendship. Okay. And it's like you're withdrawing yourself. You just, you kind of want to just be inside. You want to, you know, be to yourself. Even if you're going out, I don't feel like the interaction is the same. This is someone who's, you know, really, again, just to themselves. Because I feel that you guys are really trying to find strong stability, okay, in a time of chaos. I also feel there's a situation where someone's trying to, you know, they're just trying to be their best and they're trying to stand their ground and, and be kind and good. And then I feel like there's a reckless energy as well. So it's like really having to be strong in the face of adversity. Why is this full card here as the last card for your past? All right, we have the Six of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Magician in the Reverse. It's like you're going towards this new journey. But it's like, damn, what I wanted, it looked really good. And you might even still find it appealing. Okay? So that's why it might be hard to let it go. Okay? Because even if something was offered here, I don't think it was offered genuinely. I think someone messed something up. Okay, there was a betrayal, there was a sudden ending, but it was out of someone's control, okay? Now, especially when I do love readings, like for clients and stuff, when the chariot and the verse comes up, you know, it's not to say that a situation isn't your fault because it takes two to tango, but when I see that in regards to a relationship and a person's, um, how do I want to say this, what a person is giving into a relationship, that's you know i'll let them know that something was just beyond your control okay regardless of if whether it was you or you know someone else that this person was dating it still would have happened okay so something was just out of someone's hands at this point 
present moment, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the World card, and we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, um, so again, for some of you, maybe there's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn involved. There's a lot of Pentacle energy here, but you're slowly going towards something. Okay, and it's a good chapter. It's an exciting one, and I like that you guys keep getting that World card. And this is the center of your reading. So this is what everything focuses on, all right? Having the world. Why is this Knight of Pentacle energy here? Seven of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. You're building something. It's a one step at a time sort of thing. Five of Wands in reverse. And you're in a place where you have balance. You don't have to fight. And you're realizing, oh shit, something really good may be coming in. Okay, so now there's a shift, Scorpio. We go from all this messiness to all this greatness. Why is this world card here? Wow, guys, six of wands. Well, we have the king of cups. <laughs> guys, your energy is so powerful. And it's because of what didn't work out. You're, you're cutting something off. Or maybe someone cut you off, it, it, regardless. It, when something goes away in your life and right away things get so much better and they pick up so much pace and you have so many blessings, that's the universe saying, look, I always got you. But if you have fuck shit around you, I'm not gonna give you what you deserve because they don't deserve to be part of that. And that's exactly what happened. The universe is like, oh, you let that go. Oh, thank God. Here's that money I've been saving you. You know, so oh, I have chills, guys, and it's not because it's really, really cold in this hotel room. Okay, this is amazing. You guys have success. This is you at your most powerful, male or female, it doesn't matter. But this is your strong energy coming out, and it could be masculine energy coming out as well. Okay, um, you know, that take charge energy, that who am I and how do I show it sort of energy. Okay, so this is powerful here. I love this for you guys. I really, really genuinely do. I, I think you guys need a break. I feel like, you know, there's this book, uh, Sextrology. Um, I'll, if I remember, let me just put that link in the description. Um, so this book is amazing because it breaks down all the signs, male and female. Okay, and it even tells you like at the end your compatibility, whether you're male or female with another male or female. So it's super, super cool. And, you know, when I was reading the Scorpio section, it was saying how there's a lot of karma that's tied to Scorpio. So I feel like sometimes when you guys get lessons, it's just such a deep lesson. Okay, all of my Scorpio friends, they just everything they just they don't know how to not be deep. It's like feel it, feel everything or feel nothing. You know, you guys could be the most loving and then you guys can cut off someone like they ain't shit. All right. We have the two of pentacles. And we have the temperance card in the reverse. So things are working for you. You're mentally past whatever the issue was. You know that something or someone couldn't be trusted. Okay. And although your soul feels a little bit uncomfortable, it's like you're still finding balance. This could also be someone communicating with you and you and you consider it, even though deep down, you know, you'll get burned. Let's pull one more. here. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you guys know this is reckless. You know this up here. It's there, but do you want it? And why does it come after you start doing so well? I don't like that. Where was it before? And if it's the same situation as the past, how does something so messy try to be so kind right after a huge turn of events in your life? Okay, not everybody deserves what is made for you. And I learned that the hard way, guys. In the last you know few years, I lost a lot. Even though I was making the most in life, I lost so much because I thought my lifestyle was for everybody. And I lost that lifestyle, trying to take care of everybody. And, you know, sometimes you got to learn lessons the hard way, but that's what's happening. A new chapter comes in. You guys have all this power. You have all this success. And then it's like, oh, hey, I was just thinking about you. I just happened to be in town. It's like you happen to be in town. You're never here. And you live 
seven hours away. What are you doing here? So it's like, it's that sort of bullshit energy. And it's tough because there's a part of you that wants to give to this. Okay, you know it's reckless. You want to give to this, but it doesn't make you happy. It's too problematic. So he's just like, yo, I can't. I can't. Okay. So what happens here? We have the Queen of Wands, the Empress card in the reverse, and the Page of Swords. You guys have so much. It's like you have all these queens and kings coming out. Um, and I, fierce, like, I feel like there's something you're going to do fiercely. And I feel like you're thinking clearly now. And you're speaking from the heart. And you're not afraid to articulate yourself. You're not afraid to say what's on your mind. You have a strong backbone. Okay. So Queen of Wands. This could be Leo Aries or Sagittarius energy. Let's see why she is here. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So it's something you may be worried about, but it's something that's just not reciprocated. It doesn't go a good way. Okay. So for some of you, maybe there's a Leo on your mind, a Leo Aries Sagittarius on your mind. Um, but it's something that's not going to happen. Let's pull one more card. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. We have the Judgment card upright. King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So there is definitely something that is, it's going to be, I don't want to say this. There's something here that I feel you're deciding to put in the past, okay? Um, for some of you, specifically financially, specific, uh, specifically speaking financially, let's see if I can talk today and I haven't even started drinking, all right? Um, there could be some sort of job that you left from the past or just something that you did for a while and it's like you're, you're rejecting that you're going towards something new and it could be very, very promising for you financially speaking. So if this is in regards to work that this makes sense for you, um, yes, you know, leaving something behind will be good. But I feel like with the judgment card here, whatever it is you're deciding to release, there's no going back on this, okay? So you decide and you decide, okay? Letting it go, why is this Empress card here in the reverse? We have the Queen of Swords. The Moon card in the reverse and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So you have all the facts here. And when you make the decision, you're sure. That's like, no, that's my decision. That's what's being executed. Like, this is what it is. Page of Swords. So something really strengthens you. And I think that you guys come from a place of tenderness to, look, I try to be nice with you, but now fuck you. Now you're going to see the other side. And I tell people that all the time because, you know, they'll, they'll say Scorpio and you think Queen of Cups, King of Cups. I'm like, no, Queen of Swords. You know, I always, always, always see you guys as queen of swords because, yeah, you're going to love somebody to death or you're going to do something with, you know, great intention. But if someone fucks you over, yeah, you hurt deeply, but they see a side of you that they probably didn't know exist. We have the ace of pentacles. And because you're thinking clearly, that's what puts you on this new path. And we have the hanged one. Okay. So you take the path of least resistance. And that's where this victory is. You guys needed this, okay? You needed this. So yeah, it's a big change, but it's something that's definitely worth it. It's something that's beneficial to you, okay? So let's get some advice cards. So what guidance can I give to my Scorpios for September 2020? Ace of Pentacles reversed. We have the Temperance card. Your soul is at ease, guys, with something that you left. And it may have been something you were in for a long time. It may have been something um, work-wise, financially speaking. But Spirit is saying, look, you're at peace. Emperor, this is the attitude you guys have to have. They're always on their shit. Regardless of where their emotions are, they always make the right choices. Okay? They stay empowered. They make the right choices. And you know what that is. You guys are so in tune. 
And if you listen to yourself and to your soul and you drop the bullshit, okay, something really takes off for you. And this is something where, again, you're going to be noticed. You're going to be, I feel like you're going to be seen very powerfully, okay? People are not going to question your authority, all right? So I really, really like this. This is such beautiful energy. You know, with this high priestess, there's going to be times, you know, throughout the month where you don't have certain proof of things or, you know, something just feels off, but you don't know what it is. Listen to that. You're not wrong, okay? Four of Swords. You're still stuck on what you have to let go on, like on a mental level, but that's okay. Four of Cups in the reverse. Let's get one more. Ten of Cups. All right. If you accept this and if you protect yourself as fiercely as possible, this is what you go towards. All right. So this is a temporary sacrifice right now to ensure that you have that. Okay, I saw this thing on Twitter um, like a week or two ago, and it's something that I knew, but just reading it, it kind of woke me up. And it's like, when you're trying to find what you want in life, whether it's a lover, whether it's a job, whatever, you have to stop entertaining the shit that you don't like, okay? So not that you don't like this, I think that you have an attachment to what you're letting go of, but if you can just make that sacrifice now, to take that out now, to just feel whatever you feel now, and you do what's right for you, you have this. The universe will never, ever, 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 ever take away something that is meant for you. What is meant for you, you don't compete with anybody. That's why I think jealousy is so stupid. Everyone can have something good. So what's meant for you will be there. When the universe closes something out, Say thank you, because I'm one step closer to what's really for me, all right? I love you guys so much. If this reading resonated with you, there's a link in the description below to donate. Thank you so much if you do. Follow me on Instagram, Vibrations 44 I'm also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. I love you guys. Take care.